Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this trapezoid A, B, C, D as you can see in this uh, diagram such that the area of this uh, trapezoid is uh, 6000 square units and moreover this side length uh, B, C is 75 units whereas this side length A, D is 85 units and now we are going to calculate these side lengths uh, a b and c d and just keep in your mind that this quadrilateral is a trapezoid because a b is parallel to c d please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe before we proceed any further let me make it very clear that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's the very first thing we are going to do let's go ahead and label these unknown side lengths i'm going to call this side length cd as a lowercase a and this side length a b as a lowercase b and here's our next step let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular from this point d onto this uh, side length a b and here's our nicer looking uh, diagram and we can see that this uh, a e d is our right triangle now let's focus on this uh, rectangle e b c d we know that these two side lengths are equal if this one is 75 this side length uh, e d is going to be 75 units as well and moreover this side length uh, c d is a units so therefore this side length uh, e b is going to be a units as well now we know that this whole length is uh, b units so therefore this uh, length a e is going to be a b minus a so this side length is going to be b minus a and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, a e d and we know that this is a right uh, triangle therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square let me go ahead and label uh, this side the longest leg i'm going to call this side c this side a and this side b let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, pythagorean formula a in our case is b minus a whole square and b in our case is 75 so this becomes 75 square equals to 85 square now let's go ahead and move this uh, 75 square on the other side now let's simplify furthermore so b minus a square is going to be 85 square is 72 25 minus this is going to be 56 25 now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square so we got uh, b minus a equals to 40 and we are going to keep this uh, positive 40 because we know that the side length is always positive so therefore we figured out that this side length b minus a turns out to be 40 units and now let's move this uh, negative a on the right hand side so our b value is going to be simply a plus 40 so therefore our this whole length is going to be b which is equal to a plus 40 and now let's recall the area of the trapezoid which is equal to h times a plus b divided by 2 in our case our height h is 75 our this is our side length a and this is our side length b which is equal to a plus 40 we know our area of this trapezoid is 6000 square units so let me go ahead and write down 6000 over here equal to h in our case is 75 times a plus b in our case is a plus 40 all over divided by 2 
Let's go ahead and simplify this thing. So we got 6,000 on the left hand side equal to 75 divided by 2. And if we simplify this thing inside the parentheses, that's going to give us 2a plus 40. So let's go ahead and multiply both sides by 2 divided by 75 on the right hand side and 2 divided by 75 on the left hand side as well. It's going to give us 160 equals to here 2 and 2 are gone, 75 and 75 are gone. We are ended up with 2a plus 40. Let's go ahead and subtract 40 from both sides. This is gone, so we ended up with 120 equals to 2a. Let's divide both sides by 2. So therefore, our a value turns out to be 60 units. Therefore, our this side length cd, which is a, turns out to be 60 units. Moreover, we know b equals to a plus 40. So therefore, b is going to be a in our case is 60 plus 40 means that b turns out to be 100 units. So therefore, our this side length a b turns out to be 100 units. So thus our side length a b turns out to be 100 units, whereas side length c d is 60 units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.